Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. With the help of artificial intelligence, Lightroom Classic can automatically generate a synthetic depth map based on the content of an image so that we can change the focus plane and quickly create a narrow or shallow depth of field in a photograph. In the Lens Blur panel, I'll click Apply and Lightroom Classic will use AI to automatically detect the subject and add a blur to the background. We can use the Blur Amount slider to decrease or increase the amount of blur. If I want to manually override the automatic subject detection to blur a different area, we can select the point or area focus icon. If I click or click drag in these windows, they become in focus. If I click down here, then just the foreground is in focus. We can also adjust the focus area using the focal range bar. We can reposition the rectangle to change the focal area and we can drag either edge of the rectangle to contract or expand the focal range. Then we can click in the image area and the focal area will shift to that area, but the focal range will remain the same size. To see an overlay of the AI generated depth map, enable Visualize Depth. The color overlay in the image corresponds to the colors in the focal range bar. With Visualize Depth enabled, as you reposition or expand or contract the rectangle, the areas that are in focus are displayed in white, while yellow and purple represent areas that are outside of the focal range and will be blurred. You can also temporarily preview Visualize Depth by option dragging on Mac or alt dragging on Windows and resizing or repositioning the rectangle. Lens Blur also adds a bokeh or bokeh to the image to make the blur look more natural. You can choose from five different aperture shapes and use the boost slider to decrease or increase the effect. To manually refine the depth map, use the disclosure triangle to access the brush refinement tools. I'll begin by selecting blur and then use the amount slider to adjust the strength of the blur we can change the brush size and the feather or the softness of the brush edge and adjust the flow slider to adjust the speed at which the brush applies the adjustment. I'll enable auto mask so that Lightroom Classic can help detect edges based on contrast and color when painting. Then I'll paint in the areas that I want to blur. If needed, I can adjust the blur amount after painting. If there's another area that I want to blur the same amount, I can continue painting. When I adjust the amount, both areas that I painted will be adjusted. Now, if I want to change the amount of blur that I'm adding in another area of the image, I'll click the plus icon, which will commit to those previous refinements. To blur the wall a bit more, I'll disable auto mask, select a larger brush and then paint. Now, when I change the amount, only the paint strokes after I click the plus icon are adjusted. If there were areas that I wanted in focus, I would choose focus and then paint over those areas. For now, I'll use Command Z on Mac or Control Z on Windows to undo that. You can always click reset to reset the manual refinements. And if you wanted to reset the focal range to the automatic subject detection, we could double click within the rectangle or select the subject focus icon. All right, let's use the eye icon to view the image without lens blur and then with Lens Blur applied. To speed up your workflow, after applying Lens Blur to one image, we can select another image and choose Apply Previous, but that applies all of the changes that we've made, like cropping and other adjustments. So for more control, I'll choose Copy, choose to check None, and select the Lens Blur. If I leave Focus on Subject enabled, Lightroom Classic will analyze each image independently, find the subject, and then apply the same lens blur settings, like the blur amount. If I uncheck Focus on Subject, then Lightroom Classic will apply the exact same depth map and settings to the images. Then I'll move to the next image and choose Paste. We can also select multiple images, enable auto sync, and the changes that we make to this image will be made to all selected images. Lens blur can also be included in a preset. In fact, there are several new adaptive blur background presets which apply lens blur with a single click. Now to include lens blur in our own presets, we can apply the desired lens blur settings, 
Then click the plus icon, choose Create Preset, give it a name, and specify the location, and then choose to include Lens Blur. For additional flexibility, choose Support Amount Slider. Now, when I apply that preset, I can use the amount slider to increase or decrease the effect of the preset. Finally, if a photo has a depth map from the camera, for example, images taken in portrait mode on an iPhone, Lightroom Classic will use the depth map created by the device by default. If you prefer Lightroom Classic to create a synthetic depth map, click the three dots that appear with images that contain depth maps and choose to uncheck Use Device Depth. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.